Yeah, so how did I get here? Um, <laughs> I was at work, and I knew I was reading a couple of books, Eckhart Tolle and some um, Michael Singer books, and they kept talking about yoga, and so... I thought, well, I need to do yoga. So I looked it up online like everybody else. <laughs> and I was at work, so I wasn't supposed to be doing this. So I thought, oh, I don't really care. Let's just figure it out. So I typed it in, and Yogaville came up. I wanted to do meditation yoga, and this place came up. And, you know, Satchidananda's face was on the website, and I thought, oh, who's that? And I thought it was just an Indian guy who they just put on there to make it seem official. <laughs> <laughs> and so I... Uh, and I couldn't even pronounce his name. I didn't know what his name was. I thought, oh, Ashram, though. So let's go. So um, I looked it up, and the LYT program popped up, and I filled it out. And I got here, and it was amazing, but I still didn't know how to pronounce his name. So all Friday, you know, I'm doing the classes, and I'm like, who are they talking about, this Sachi guy? And um, the guru, and I'm just going the whole weekend, and finally Saturday comes along, and I'm here at Satsang, and I'm like, oh my God, it's a person. <laughs> and I'm like, is he alive? And you know, I find out that he's not, and I'm like, get out of here. So this guy's not alive, and they're talking about him like he is? This is nuts. So the whole weekend, I'm just tripping out like he's not even here. <laughs> and um, so that's how it started. And, uh, <laughs> and after the weekend, walk weekend, I was going right into the light program, and Arivananda was um, directing it, and it just all came together and so yeah it was just a great time but um <laughs> it was definitely weird at first but i loved it i love it i love it so <laughs> i found out about yogaville through my father actually somehow he hadn't told me about it all this time many years ago he was taking a weekly hatha class with swami ashokananda at the iyi new york and um, my upbringing was in New York City, New Jersey. And um, through this depression, when I just had had it and I uh, was ready to see God, if you will, uh, we sat down at a computer similar to your story. And we're look I had this intuitive feeling. I had never formally meditated before, not really done any much, much Hatha yoga. I was raised Catholic in a very Sicilian family. And um, I said, I just know I have this feeling I have to study uh, meditation and hatha, or yoga, I called it. And I've got to eat a healthy diet and be in nature. And spiritually, I feel really lonely. And I was 22 at the time. And it was very rare to find good company sangha, spiritual sangha, like we have here. And um, we're thinking of all these kinds of different places. We're doing research, all these expensive places. And finally, he says, oh, there's this ashram in Virginia. Yeah, I've been going to their yoga you know, studio in, in New York City for years. And um, I, I met the founder. I went to a couple of his talks. And we pulled up the website. I saw Swami Satyadananda's picture. I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> Sanskrit, the beard. I mean, <laughs> there was some initial judgment there, and I said, whatever, let's just go with it. And within months, I ended up at the ashram, and I haven't left. Yes. So I am eternally grateful for the light program. And just the name, just the name, that's what I couldn't get out of my mind. It took me a while to decide to come here. It was a big commitment. But the idea of living yoga training, and I kept thinking, what is it like to live yoga? Mm. What is it like to live yoga? And I, that thought wouldn't go away, and it's just what brought me here. So the structure of the light program is designed for transformation. It starts with meditation in the morning. I was used to going to bed at 4 in the morning, and now I was waking up <laughs> at 4 in the morning. So that was a huge change, but it was great. Um, and it changed my whole mindset, uh, the way I saw myself and the way I saw the whole world.